Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite books of the month of July that I read. And if you're interested in checking out these books afterwards, I do have the link below in the description so in case you decide to check it out. So getting started on the first book I'm going to be talking about is The Darkest Minds. I actually been wanting to read this book for like forever, I had it on my shelf, I've been putting it off, but I found out like there was a movie coming out this month and I knew I had to read it right away. And I enjoyed it. If you like Hunger Games meets X-Men meets pretty much any book with like where characters have magical uh, special abilities that do stuff. It's about this girl who lives in this world where kids at the start have like this disease, this condition that like kills them off. But and so uh, but afterwards certain groups of kids that have a disease actually like end up living and then they end up developing uh, special abilities which is not really a good idea because like the government does not like them. They fear these people, kids with abilities. So in order to deal with this problem they send these kids to a camp and that's where they go. And so this girl who goes to get sent to a camp, her name is Ruby, and she has like this uh, ability to actually like uh, read minds and uh, she pretty much had like a mindful power. I would say mindful power, I guess. That's crazy. But anyway, she pretty much gets up, uh, she's sent there when she was 10, and then afterwards she's pretty much living there for six years. And then fast forward to when she's 16, she pretty much gets the opportunity to escape. Somebody like helps her escape and then ends up she's going on the run. And then as she's running away, she meets these kids, uh, a boy named Liam, a, a little girl named Zoo, and another boy named Chubbs. And then they go on the lamp and they try to avoid getting captured and getting sent back to these camps where else something bad ha will happen to them. And at the same time, they're looking for this mysterious guy known as the Slip Kid, who has his own secret of his own. And that's pretty much what it's about. It's really good. Um, I love the whole action about it. I love the female character in the book, Ruby. I like, there's a lot of interesting characters that I really enjoyed getting to know and I was like, yeah, Yes, I like these characters and I also like the whole special abilities and especially like the ability that Ruby has it's kind of different than what I'm used to and I just really I pretty much read this book I digested it and just really enjoyed this. The second book that I read this month that I really enjoyed is Predator's Goal and this is the second book in the Hungry Cities Chronicles. I mean if you haven't read the first book Mortal Enchants I have a review on it this channel in case you want to check it out. It's really good if you like steampunk, you like post popular books in the future there's like uh, cities that are moving around and they're actually like you know they actually are mobile so they are moving around eating other cities there's airship pirates there's uh, two characters that pretty much like are like going on adventures and everything and it's like so much fun and I like the whole world that Philip Reeve actually created in this world and it's like two separate stories in these both books so it's just, it's just I had so much fun reading it. Next book I read this month is actually I read Siege and Storm and also I finally finished Rune and Rising. And these is the two last books in the Grisha trilogy books. If you're interested in Grisha World by Lee Bardugo, it's so good if you like people with special abilities. Uh, this is actually like um, has some strong female characters and there's like people like uh, like kind of like more like they summon powers and the main character, uh, the girl, um, she is known as the Sun Summoner and she can summon light. And there's even an evil guy named the Darkling who's creepy and stuff and I actually really enjoy this whole trilogy. But if you want to learn more about it I do have a video on the shadow and bone which is the first book right here so in case you want to learn more about it it's so good. The next book I actually I read was Honor Amongst Thieves by Rachel Kane and Anne Aguar and if you're interested in science fiction and you like something that involves space and aliens but totally different from your usual usual green alien vibe type of thing but you want something different but with like a little alien imagine an alien that's also a spaceship at the same time that so you can actually sail the galaxy and explore it. That is like the kind of book that it's about. And it even has like this girl, the main character who's like a thief who's been living on the streets and she gets recruited in order to uh, go on the lamb again. She's like um, running away and stuff. And it's just so cool. There's mystery going on. I actually had a book review on this on my channel also. So in case you want to check this one out. And my last other favorite book that I read was Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. And this is kind of like a uh, novella part of the whole Throne of Glass series. I always been wanting to pick up the series and so I decided to start with this one. And I know it's not like a requirement or anything, but I just wanted the whole background before I get into it. Decide if I'm like, do I want to or do I not want to? And I just started through a glass. So I'm pretty much really sucked in already. So so that's pretty much all the books I have mentioned today that I really enjoyed this month. Pretty much just like every single book I read this month. So I guess I'm having a great month for me today. And so anyway, if you have any favorites that you want to share, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear about 
about what you read. And if you read any of these books, I'd like to know about that as well. And if you enjoyed this video, do click on thumbs up. And if you want to check out more monthly favorites and also book reviews, you subscribe because I'd love to have you there. So until next time, keep on reading.